morning, everyone, and welcome to the All Two Blue Room Live! Yes! We're live on the internet, ladies and gentlemen. We are live to the world on that camera right there. And everyone turns to that camera right there and wave. Hello, Facebook. Hello, the world. Uh, what a treat. England have just beaten Japan. Yes! Let's keep this momentum rolling. We have three very, very special guests who are keen, who are willing, who are very eager to come on the stage and meet and chat everyone who is an all two priority customer here in the all two blue room outside Twickenham Stadium. So let's take a look in the green room and see who we've got. There they are, look! Yes! Maru Atolji, Elliot Daly and Charlie Ewells! Yes, we only get glitter cannons when we win! Uh, first of all, gentlemen, welcome, congratulations. No, keep going, keep going, let's make him feel even more awkward. Uh, Maro, that must feel really nice when you have your own song, when the England rugby fans sing to you and shout out your name. Yeah, yeah, it's very, it's very nice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm being genuine, <laughs> um, but it's good. I appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. And not only that, but man of the match, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I'm going to put you in, in a situation now where if you were writing, let's say, for a sports magazine, and you were writing about your own performance, how would you describe it? Um, I thought it was, I thought it was good. Um, I thought uh, carried well, did the basics well, um, but obviously there are things I could work on as well. But as a whole, I'll take it. I'll take it. We'll keep, keep nice. Moving. Nice. Charlie, congratulations, your ninth cap for England. How was it out there for you? Uh, quick. Yeah, oh my goodness me, wasn't it just? They were unbelievable. Uh, it was quick, and is that something that we didn't expect? Uh, I think we looked in the week, and traditionally they kicked the ball loads, but I don't know, for some reason today they just didn't, didn't fancy that, so they, yeah. <laughs> 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 so when you're put in that situation, when you kind of think, oh my goodness me, we didn't expect this, we didn't see any of this on film, how do you adjust? What was different in the second half to the first? Uh, I think individually, each player probably found another 5 10%, and then when you've got 15 blokes doing that, suddenly the team performance goes up through the roof. Elliot, is it frustrating when that happens on the field? Because we saw it against Italy, where we were basically confused out of our minds and we didn't really know what to do. But that was a different team today, the Japanese. They were really quick. They just attacked, attacked, attacked. Yeah, I think um, they kept the ball really well. Uh, they really did. They did, yeah, in that first half. They put us under a lot of pressure. And uh, I think we probably didn't adapt quick enough. But I think we looked at it at half time and realised we had to be way more physical. And I think we did that second half. Do you think we underestimated them a little bit, Maro? Uh, I, I don't think we did. Um, I, th I thought we prepared well during the week. Uh, we have, obviously, with Steve and Eddie, we have two coaches who used to coach Japan, so they, they know a lot about the way they think and the way they approach the game. Um, and we actually started the game very well, but we just, once we scored that first try, we probably dipped a little bit. So the challenge for us is to maintain that intensity for, the, for as long as we can. George, at the end of the game, said that we lost a little bit of focus. Would you say that's a fair comment, Charles? Yeah, I think, I think what Mario just said about them, we, we start well, we score that try, and then, you know, not, not through choice, but you maybe start to think, like, oh, you know, yeah, yeah, we'll just do that again, we'll just do that again. And then, you know, they, they brought the game to us, and it took probably till 30, 35 minutes, and then 10 minutes sit down at half-time to sort of find the answers. And then we did find the answers, because the second half was awesome, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> Let's talk about that second half, Elliot. A phenomenal second half from the whole squad, everyone that came on. Uh, what was the difference? What was said at half-time? 
Um, I think we just said we can, without offence, we put them under way more pressure. I think we did that. They were chucking offloads out the back and we were getting on top of them, getting hold of the ball, and then we got into their half and scored tries. Did they surprise you by their physicality? Because they looked like a real physical team. They were proper getting stuck in. Yeah, I think um, any international team is physical. Um, they're always going to bring that to the party. And uh... It's not really a party, is it? <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I haven't been to a party where I've been battered by 15 fellas. <laughs> You know what I mean? I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. You know. <laughs> oh, sorry, we're live. We're live. We're live. Uh, but you know what I mean? You said uh, we just basically knuckled down. Who was most uh, vocal in the dressing room at halftime? Was it Eddie or was it one of the captains? Uh, I think George uh, nailed it before we went in. Um, Eddie just reinforced that. And then... Uh, I think you know when you, you're not sort of performing your best, especially physicality-wise and attitude-wise, and I think we uh, addressed that as a team and came out second half and dominated. Because I think now, Maro, with the South Africa game and then the New Zealand game, and now this, we've shown and we've proven to the world that we are a physical rugby team now. Yeah. You didn't ask me a question. <laughs> it's more of a statement, really, Maro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so so I... should people be fearing us, maybe? Um... Well, I, li I like to think so, um, but regardless of you know whether they fear us or not, we we try and bring a physicality to our game. Um, we have we have a lot of big players. We have some players who hit very hard. Um, you can so. hear that on the ref link. If you're fortunate enough to have the ref link, the hits just sound brutal. Yeah, yeah, um, and it was going both ways today, so it was good. Um, it's de it's definitely something we're going to need for next week. I'll just. Realise what I said live on Facebook. <laughs> it's quite funny, really, isn't it? <laughs> a little bit. Uh, Charlie, we've got to keep this momentum going because uh, we've put in some sterling defensive performances. We've got Australia next week, which, as we know, as we know, as we know, we belong along together. You and I forever and ever. And you know what? They're not very good neighbours, the Australians. Uh, so, how do we beat the Australians next week? Uh, we do more of what we did in the second half. We bring that attitude, bring the physicality and stick to our game plan. Nice. All right, looking forward to that. Uh, we've got some fun questions. Are you ready, Elliot? Very ready. All right, first one for you. Bella from Cambridge wants to know, we had another strong start. How important is this in international rugby? Yeah, it's, it's massively important. We talk about it all the time. Um, and to be 7-0 up, um, it's, it's how you go after that though what Mario said you need to keep that momentum going we probably put, took the foot off the gas a little bit there we need to put that on next week to make sure that we, we stay on top of Australia is it exhausting always having to put on pressure put on pressure put on pressure to nah, the very very last minute no I think when you, when you do that it's easy when you, when you, when you really? keep on it all the time it's easy because everyone's in the, in the right mind frame and you know exactly what you're going to need to do Oh, that's interesting. Uh, Debs from Stains wants to know, did you expect Japan to be leading at halftime, Maro? Nope. <laughs> Caitlin from Oxford wants to know, do you think this is a special win for Eddie, given his history with Japan, Charlie? I don't know. I mean... Uh, a win's a win though, right? Win's a win, mate. Yeah, the way that Eddie is, he just, he's, he's a winner. He doesn't, whoever he's with, he wants to win. I don't think he would look sort of too much into, into that. So you'll have to ask him. Yeah, he seems very positive uh, from what we've heard in the tunnel and the chats that we've had with him uh, after the game. Uh, were Japan easier or hard opponents than you expected? That's from C Crawford Stoke, I think, at 44. Uh, I think we've answered that question. If you weren't... Oh, here we go. If, we weren't, if you weren't playing rugby, what would you be doing? That's from Joshua in Norfolk at 26. Maro? Uh, philosopher. What? Philosopher. A philosopher. An artist. Prime Model. Oh, what, sorry? Model. Yeah. <laughs> well, <clears throat> uh, I don't know whether you know this. Got a little bit of experience uh, of the old catwalk. So if you were to model, Maro had told you, how would you uh, look when you walk down the catwalk? Let's have some uh, catwalk music. Off you go, my friend.
There you go. There you go. Uh, what about you, Charlie? Uh, I love you just said model. <laughs> slightly, yeah, slightly different. I'd love to be a darts player. Oh, nice. Did you see the headline? Uh, see how it all kicked off in the darts this weekend? Someone flatulated and it all kind of, it blew up, uh, so to speak. Very Interesting. Uh, Elliot, what about yourself? Maybe a gardener. I've said I'd mow your lawn. Do you remember oh, that? yes, you did. Yeah. Yes, you did. You still haven't called me around to do that. So. No. All right. Uh, because we are related, of course. Yes, of course. Uh, did you start your rugby life at school? That's from Laura, who's 25, from Hayward Heath. Yep, I, st I started playing rugby at the age of 11, um, year 7, um, when I moved to secondary school. Uh, this week we saw the unfortunate passing of Stan Lee, uh, the creator of Marvel Comics. If you were a superhero, who would you be? Uh, Thor. Who? Thor. Thor? Nice. I like, uh, I like Iron Man, Tony Stark. Marrow? Black Panther. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fans' favourite. All right, ladies and gentlemen, they're great sports as always, and it's always a privilege to have you guys in the O2 Blue Room after a game because we know how much and how hard working it is out there, and you guys are extra special. So give them a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Mark Tolji, Charlie Ewells, and Elliot Daly, come on! Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you throughout the week. Have a great week, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow because we're doing an Oz 2 inside line very, 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 very early tomorrow morning. We'll see you then. Good night, God bless.